Hello, uh, Jim Howard here in Fort Worth, Texas. Today's date, it is November 27th of 2016. You'll notice maybe that I'm in my new office. Um, I'm using the Blue Yeti microphone. I'm using the, with this computer, I'm using the C920 uh, Logitech camera. In the other room I have the C930E hooked up to that computer. Um, I also download, I paid, I paid for and downloaded um, what, Movidia? Video Suite. Now I paid for their, I've been using for years, their, I'm not sure what it's called, screen capture, it does the same thing as this. This uh, is a new product that they have out and it's supposed to have some improvements and you can't upgrade the other thing you have because that's one of their that's one of their products let's see hang on here a second I am using uh, I don't know what it is I guess it's a video suite or this is a video suite I have no idea but I installed that on here and this is the first first time I've used it so this is a test I actually should have stopped and make sure this is uh, this is working but I can do with this software and I think with the other software by the way I got it for 39 or 35 dollars so here they have it, uh, $59.95, but I got an email that I could get it for $35. So you may you may look or watch if this if you're interested in this software. Uh, it looks good. This is what it starts looks like here when you start it up. Um, you can do your video editing, but I have several programs that I have paid for. Adobe Photo Studio is one of them that I paid I don't know how much for. And about every six months they come out with an improved, with well, the next version, I'm on version uh, X8 and they just came out with a version X9 which they want, I don't know, 50 or 60 bucks to upgrade it and all I use I don't know uh, so you can do the video editing with this I haven't tried that but it looks good it looks simple but it looks powerful so I'll be trying that uh, you can change the format of your videos uh, you can record screen activity with screen capture so I think I'll be able to use this uh, software. Let me see if I can bring up the, there it is. Um, it shows you that I've been recording this for four minutes and 12 seconds. It shows you the size of the file. Um, the webcam is disabled because I'm running uh, the Windows capture thing. I can pause it, stop it, change settings and stuff. So uh, it looks good. So this is uh, their help file. The only problem I had with it, which was it took me a few minutes to figure it out, was when I installed it, it asked that I want screen capture started automatically, and I said, well, yeah. And then I 
couldn't do some stuff because screen capture it kept popping up saying screen capture is running shut down screen capture and it took me a while to figure I had to go over here to shut it down to show it shows it stuff then I saw in the settings when I could finally uh, get over to the settings someplace that there was a uh, was it here can't go to it while it's running I guess I found a setting so that was the only problem I had it took a few minutes frustrating especially when you just paid for a brand new program you, you don't want to think there's something something wrong with it uh, my latest YouTube video is uh, this one Fidel Castro is dead um, nope settings nope Yeah, I, I thought it would show, well, let's try this. I think I've got the settings set, so it's going to, it'll let you hear this. I haven't adjusted this, so let's, um, just a few seconds of it to see how that works. Five years in, uh, in Miami. Miami. And, you know, all my life, for some reason, I guess because I'm a... There we go. So, I I recommend the software. Uh, the only thing is I'd like to see you get it at $35. So watch, if you're interested, watch for them to have some kind of a sale, I guess. The only thing I don't like, it takes uh, when you purchase it and you get a code to enter. And then the only thing I don't like is if you try to run it on a different computer, I'm sure it's going to know. You know, like I have a computer in the other room. And I guess what I need to do, and I don't know how to do it. I'm not, I've done it in the past, but I can't remember now how to do it. Well, I guess what I need to do is network these two computers so I can run software. So I can be in the other room and run the software and here or be. So I need to work on that or my grandson needs to come and visit it so he could do it for me, but he wouldn't. Well, he might do it. If he came to visit, there really wouldn't be a gaming computer for him here to... Oh, gaming. I, uh, as you know, I played for years Civilization, and I've been playing for a long time Civilization Five. And what you won't believe, although I think I've mentioned it before, is... <laughs> I played on that is very. I never win. Uh, I don't try to win. I don't really ever lose. Usually, I, I don't lose because I just play it on the simple. And I like to see the terrain and try to build my commit my cities and my state out and uh, whatever. But of course, I was waiting for Civilization Six to come out, and so I purchased Civilization Six. I had a feeling what was going to happen, and so I I played Civilization VI a little bit. You know, I, I think I'm going to go back to playing Civilization V. Uh, civilization, to me, Civilization VI is like, in a way, like uh, The Sims uh, or something like that. You know, I. Of course, with Civilization VI, you don't have to, but, <laughs> you know, I don't want to have to be telling my soldiers or citizens to go to the bathroom or to eat or to sleep, which you have to do on Sims, you know. With Civilization V, I could just tell my workers, you know, your automated work. Don't undo any work you did, you know. With Civilization VI, there's no way to do that. You have to tell, I have to tell them to build here, to to be building this, to and there's there's a government you have to organize, there's religion you have to organize, there's diplomacy you have to organize. I don't want to be doing that. I want to be I want my brain to be in rest mode and just uh, sure I'll do some battle, you know, some battles or whatever, but I just want to build up my world. So I'll probably go back and play Civilization VI from time to time. 
but just for relaxation or whatever because Civilization VI is not relaxing it's stressful Civilization V, the way I play it, is, is, uh, is restful. Anyway, um, this is a new office, my grandson's old bedroom. So now I'm calling my other room, which has my better computer and some better hardware. I'm calling it my bedroom, and I'm calling this my office. Uh, with my new camera I still have not made a 4k video so that's something that I something I want to do I'm trying to think right now should I make a 4 I made a video uh, recently that you can see here of showing you the rooms here although now I have everything off that chair over there and everything in the closet. I have all his, everything out of my, all my grandson's stuff out of the closet and uh, everything, so. So now these two rooms look pretty good and I got, I'm, and I'm getting my stuff better organized. I've got what I want to do because my mind is simple is I, in the other room with my other computer, if I have hardware or something. I want to have the boxes and everything for that over there and then for what I'm using here I want to have the uh, the stuff in here so if I go to the closet I'll, I'll have the stuff sort of organized I won't be thinking because I'll get confused otherwise I'll think oh. if I have the, a box for a video card if I have the box for the video card that's in that computer over there, if I have it there, then I'll be thinking that that video card is in here, so I want to get the things kind of organized that way. I'm not good at, organi at putting stuff like in files. I end up with, like if I do it stuff with files, I end up with uh, files that overlap that are like, I can't compartmentize stuff well. So... Well, I uh, thank you very much for watching this, and we'll see how the how the video looks with the old C920, which I made hundreds of videos with, and we were happy with. We'll see how the audio works here. Should work good with the Yeti Blue, or it's not the blue with the blue Yeti, and the furnace just came on we'll we'll, we'll know how the uh, the computer over here is is pretty quiet I think I I could put it down underneath here but it'd be hard to get to I want it there where I can walk around here and get to the back of it easily and plug stuff in anyway thank you very much for watching it is by the way 3 30 a.m. Uh, I wake up about every two hours and sometimes I go back to bed and then sometimes I stay up all night but I'm retired so uh, I don't know it just feels kind of I would love to have uh, eight hours sleep six hours sleep would be fine five hours sleep would be fine Thank you very much for watching.